films. weekend all Friday Saturday and today's Sunday I been I've been sick I've had a pretty bad cold I've been talking really scratchy my voice is really scratchy right now that's what happens when I get sick I go straight to my esophagus so anyways um, I never really thought I had COVID and uh, I just took a COVID test and I'm COVID negative so I don't have COVID. Thank you. Thank you, Planet Earth. So all this time, this weekend, that I uh, thought maybe I had COVID, but didn't the entire time. Um, we went to see Elton John at the um, Veterans Memorial Stadium in Jacksonville, Florida. And here is a few second clip. And as you know, this is my final tour. Uh, but I want to say thank you to all the people in the front that have been to so many shows. 48, 49, up in 22, 53. Um, it's quite amazing. And for people that, um, yes, I said 53. Um, the people that aren't in the front, I'm sure there's many of you that have been to multiple shows. And I can't thank you enough. It's so amazing that you do that. And it makes me feel so great and so loved. And all of you who dress up, um, again, thank you so much, because that makes me feel great too, it's like a party. And uh, this is the country that gave me my break, this is the country that started my career, and um, I've had nothing but love from America uh, ever since I came here, and I want to say thank you because the kindness, the generosity, the loyalty uh, is quite amazing. And even though this is my final tour, I'm never going to forget you guys because I've had so many great times. How can you forget them? And you made my life the most incredible life that anyone could possibly have. You've taken me to places I could never dream of going to. And I love you so much and I will miss you, but you're in my heart and my soul. And uh, take care of yourselves and be good to each other. Love each other. I wish you health, happiness, prosperity, and farewell, baby. It's a little funny. We've done that one. Let's do this one. But now you gonna come. So I've never been a fan of Elton John, really. I, you know, I appreciate a few songs, Goodbye Yellow Brick Road, um, um, Your Song, you know, those are all incredible songs. But, um, you know, I've never really took in a big chunk of uh, Elton John's music before. <laughs> and uh, he is an incredible human. Um, just from the, the content, the way he was um, presenting his music and like the imagery that was displayed behind him at his shows. He's a uh, culturally diverse person. He's uh, culturally aware of the struggles and uh, he, he's uh, all about supporting uh, HIV people. And uh, it, it was just, it was an eye opener. I didn't know he was that involved. And uh, he was overall an incredible show. Um, you know, I've heard those songs before, but I never really took a deep dive into what the lyrical content was. Incredible pianist. He's, I think a lot of his work is um, 
overlooked that his his physical ability on the piano. He's an incredible pianist. Um, he uh, some of the stuff I I've never even heard before. There was one particular song, and it had very long. Uh, it was instrumental, and then it went into this other lyrical song. I can't think of the name right now, but my mind was blown. Like just that alone. If anyone, um, the musicianship was incredible. Uh, one cool thing, uh, Ray Cooper was up there doing percussion as well as uh, um, uh, Nigel, uh, I can't think of his name, Nigel G <laughs> was playing drums and they're both like in their 70s and so is Elton John. So it was really incredible to see all these great musicians and artists coming together and, and making the show happen. Do you like your Din Dins? Oh, okay. I think tonight um, I gotta make a video about uh, just a little playthrough of this game uh, called Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the arcade game, originally on the Nintendo Entertainment System. Um, when this game came out, my mother worked at Toys R Us at the time. Okay, there's a point in the video where I'm talking about and I say, my mother worked at Toys R Us. Well, I didn't really explain this at all. I don't know what was going on when I was telling this story. But <laughs> uh, my mother worked at Toys R Us and she knew that I really wanted this game. And it wasn't my birthday and it wasn't, uh, you know, Christmas. It was like some other time of the year. When this game came out and I was just like, please, 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 mom, can you get me this game? And uh, she told me that she would get it for me. Um, I forget, you know, what the reason, what I had to do to uh, get it. There was probably a reason, but I don't remember that. What I do remember is um, she said uh, she'd bring it home tonight. And my, I went to bed before my mother got home from work. For, for some reason that that day and uh, I remember waking up in the middle of the night and being like okay my mom's home I'm gonna go look for the game <laughs> so I went into the kitchen and there was a uh, um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles the arcade game sitting on the uh, kitchen table and you know I don't know why I, I just looked at it and I was like oh there it is and so then I hopped back into bed you know I was like okay it's here but I was very excited it was uh, one of those memories where you just kind of remember forever something and uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 the arcade game on the NES was one of those games that I just love playing and I still love playing I, it's great it's fond memories it's uh, a lot of good times with a little friend across the street that I'd play with we'd play Ninja Turtles together and uh, the, you know Ninja Turtles was huge and I remember playing the actual arcade game at the roller rink, um, about maybe five, 10 miles away from our house. I can't really judge as a kid, but it was close. I was very close to this roller rink and uh, I played the Ninja Turtles game. And then in Nintendo Power, um, it was particularly the, uh, the issue with uh, Star Tropics on the cover. Inside there, there was a little glimpse of this game and I was just going berserk that I could play that arcade game at home and so tonight I'm gonna make a little video and uh, about you know play through of this game and I'm, I just love this game this is like my go-to NES game if I play NES I play Ninja Turtles the arcade game so um, I'll see you tonight or this video will be posted a lot a lot farther into the future but anyways um of course this this video is going up much earlier than the video you're watching so look into the past bye bye thank you for watching and please subscribe for more of my cool content also you can check out my other cool content on these other social media sites like twitter instagram facebook and bandcamp so see you next time Moon World Recordings by Schneider Forest.